Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today I'm going to be doing the rising author tag which was started by Louise and I will leave the link to that in the description. I decided to do this tag because I saw it, I really liked it and I want to talk about myself more as an author rather than just doing book tags all the time. Because I guess I kind of am an author. In February 2017 I self-published this book called Beauty in the Breakdown. So even though it's not traditionally published, I'm I wrote it, so I guess I'm an author. Let's begin. What's the weirdest thing someone has said about your writing? Well, I honestly haven't got any weird things about my writing, because, hmm, I don't know. There's been nothing weird. I've had comparisons to authors that I believe my writing style is nothing like, and I've had stories I've written be compared to books that are completely different. Like when you go into a bookshop and you pick up a book and it says like, oh, the next Hunger Games, the next Fault in Our Stars, all that kind of thing. I've had that and it's like, my book's nothing like that. So I've had nothing weird, I've just had um, strange comparisons. But people are usually like very lovely to me, because I guess they know I'm sensitive. So yeah, nothing weird, just all good things and just your next genre. -ing. What was the worst thing you've ever written? Well... I guess you could say the short stories I wrote in my youth, but they're not the worst things I've ever written, they're just a stage in my development, like at the time that would have been the best thing I've written. But if we're going to the worst thing I've written... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in my fanfiction days, I wrote a fanfic which was basically almost like a word-for-word -word copy of this very popular one in the fandom. It was on Quotev. The original was called something like 21 Dares, where the girls and One Direction are trapped in this house and they had to complete all these dares to like, leave because some kind of demon thing's haunting them. And I basically copied that, and that's the worst thing I've ever written. But the original story wasn't too great because fan fiction in 2011. Can you do other things while writing? No. I can breathe, and that's about pushing it. <sighs> Sometimes I like listen to music while writing, but I spend all my time distracted listening to the song rather than writing, so I'm just here like making typing gestures over my keyboard while like bopping along to the music. So yeah, I can't do anything. I mean, I can't eat at the same time, so I need both my hands. I can like take a drink every now and then, but that's the extent of my abilities. If your book was made into a movie, what would it be like? Well, if we're going off Beauty and the Breakdown, I just want it to, the movie to be like the book. I mean, I understand how films that take out scenes and add new ones, like create tension, make it more dramatic. And like, I'm fine with that, as long as it still vaguely resembles my original plot. Unlike the Shadow Hunters TV show and the City of Bones book, like, I want there to be similarities. I want people to re like watch it and recognise, like, oh, that's that book. You know, I'm not fussed about what it's about. I mean, I think it's just a massive honour and a compliment to have your stuff made into a movie. I just been reminded of the Percy Jackson movies. You know, I've suddenly become aware that I can't breathe out my left nostril, and we're gonna deal with it. Do you include food in your books? Um, in Beating the Breakdown, they're kind of on the run and they're like starving because they have no money, so no, very little food. And in the book I'm writing now, also no food. Because as much as I enjoy food, but I'm a very simple, I'm a very fussy eater, so I like the plainest food possible. So I don't feel like I have the food experience to write about good food in a book. It'll just be like, someone had some toast, and someone had a tuna toasty, and someone ate an entire Easter egg in one sitting, but... Mm, I would write about food. I enjoy reading about food a lot, though. I just can't write about it. Which one of your characters are you most similar to? Um... As an author, I'm the kind of author who puts like, a little bit of myself into all my characters. But the one who's very much similar to me is Clara from Beauty and the Breakdown. Because she's like the shy, sensitive character, she loves books. And there's a bit scene in the book where it's basically about her fear of being left alone or abandoned. And that is like my own personal fear. But one of my friends read this book and she was like, oh yeah, like I see you in Josh, the other main character. And I was like, he's probably the complete opposite of me. But maybe that's why I see the similarities. I don't know. I need to write more characters and have more characters out in the open so I can talk about them. Because right now I can just say, Clara's basically me. Which of your characters do you wish you had never created? 
Well, there's no characters I wish didn't exist at all because they all serve some role to the story. Like, there's characters who are there who are meant to be annoying, there's some who have like less purpose than others, but they're all meant to be there. While I was still writing Beauty and the Breakdown, I had a comment basically saying how one of the characters felt like, oh, they're not meant to be there, like, they were just there for the sake of it. I was like, yeah, I agree. So at the time, they were there for the sake of it, just because I wanted to add a new character to create some drama. But now they have a purpose. And it's a purpose that's not as important as some other characters, but they have a reason to be there. You know, they just turn up, just happy, don't make any issues. Do you let other people read your writing? Well, now that there's books on my shelf, they can all read it. <coughs> but I don't let people I actually know in person, like, walk up to my laptop and flick through my Word documents, because I don't like that. But I write on the website called Mavellas, which I've talked about a lot at this point, but still haven't talked about it properly. Which is like an online writing community like Corey Tev and Wattpad, but better. Like, more people interact with you and your work. So there's people in there who like read it because I want them to, I want feedback and suggestions and like how to get better. But I don't let anyone I actually know read it because there's hardly anyone I actually know who cares about reading and writing. What's the oddest thing you know about one of your characters? Ugh. It's not the oddest thing I'd know, it's the oddest thing that I've made my characters know. Like, I've researched for Beating the Bay Down, I've researched how to make, like, poison out of apple seeds and, like, giving yourself tattoos and just random things I've researched to put into a character. So that's not a random thing I know about them, that's a random thing I've made them know. What is the very first story you remember writing or having record of? So if you look back at my channel a bit, there's two videos that are about reading my childhood stories. I've had more since then, but they're, like, the earliest stories I actually remember writing. They're all short stories, but the first book I remember writing, I'm going to talk about in another video because it's very exciting. And the final question is, what things do you like to write about? I like writing about friendship, characters with this deep sea trauma, like accurate mental health representation, just fantasy settings regular people thrown into fantasy settings and being like, well, what do I do now? Oh. I think... I like writing about soulmates, not in a romantic way necessarily, but a platonic way, like two people who even if they aren't in love with each other are meant to be together. And that's kind of what I believe for Josh and Clara. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave a link to Louise's blog or video, I'm not sure what it is yet, I found this off Paper Fury because I'm obsessed with Paper Fury. Yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you next time. Bye!